Welcome to Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson 32B. So uh, we're just going to pick up right where we left off. We created this scene in the first lesson. We added an image, text, uh, text that displays a variable, um, as well as uh, buttons. Uh, but we didn't make them do anything. So now we're going to make them do anything, do something. And I just messed myself up there. And that happens in uh, scenes. If you touch something, you mess it up. It's easy. You just fix it by moving things back where they are or uh, replacing them, whatever you need to do. Not, not that big of a deal. Don't freak out if you mess something up. So now that we have this uh, scene, uh, let's figure out what we're going to do to give it some functions. Uh, First, I'm going to make it so that when this is displaying a Google Voice message, uh, you can dismiss it by tapping Google Voice message or the icon or the dismiss button. Or if you uh, tap the message itself or you tap open reply, then it opens Google Voice. So let's go to the image. Um, I need to switch over to normal mode. For Tap that, go to uh, tap, and then you add an activity just like you do in a task. So we're going to uh, add two activities. The first activity is destroy scene. So we want to destroy the little notification uh, uh, at this point. Actually, that's all we're going to do for that because that's all we want to do is dismiss it so that it sounds drastic because you're saying destroy, but really in Tasker speak, all that means is make that scene that has just popped up on your screen, make it go away. Google Voice message, if you tap that, we're going to make it so that it does the same thing. Scene, destroy scene, there you go. And then the dismiss button. Tap that, hit the tap, add an action, scene, destroy scene. And by default, when you press destroy scene, it's going to have the scene name of the scene you're working on because that's the most logical thing. That may not always be what you want to do, and if not, you change it. But that's generally going to be the most logical on that, so that's what Tasker automatically puts in there. And then uh, now we want to make it so that uh, if they tap the actual message or open reply, then it opens up Google Voice. So we're going to tap that to open it up, tap, we still want it to destroy the scene, so we're going to add that, and then we're just going to add an additional activity, and we're going to choose app, and then uh, launch app, and then choose the app we want it to launch, which is in, in this case is Google Voice, and there you go. And now we're going to do the same thing for the open reply button. Click plus, scene, destroy scene, plus, app, launch app, and go to Google Voice. And there you go. So that's it for the scene. We've created the scene. This is what it looks like, or what it will look like, more or less. Um, you can always come back and change this if you need to later on, once you've tested it out. Um, that's the basic uh, scene for us. So now uh, we need to make it do what we want it to do. So what we want it to do is we want, when we get a Google Voice message, we want it to trigger showing this. So let's go to profiles and let's create uh, a trigger. And we're going to use uh, the trigger is going to be an event. And we're going to say, uh, I think it's under UI. Yeah, UI notification. Notification. Now it gives you the option for an owner application. So we're going to press that and we're going to choose voice because we only want this to happen when we get something from Google Voice. Um, it does let you know that the event requires Tasker's accessibility service to be enabled. Would you like to enable it now? I'm going to click no because I'll do that later. But just know that 
accessibility has to be allowed in order for this uh, tasker to access uh, notifications. So we got the notification. When we get a notification from Google Voice, we want something to happen. We're going to create a new task. I'm going to say 101. And then uh, the task is going to be G V notify. So what we want to do when that happens, we're going to do things a little bit backwards from what you may think. We're going to set uh, a variable first, and then we're going to show the scene with that variable. So, actually, I don't know why. That, that, that really isn't probably backwards from what you would think. But it was backwards from what I was thinking at that second. Uh, but it's actually what makes sense to do. First, you're going to uh, set a variable. So, we're going to go to vari variables, select that. And now we're going to go to variable set. Now, we have the variable that we put into the scene. That's the variable we want to set. Because we put it in a scene, it should be in here. Let's see, is it in here? There it is, little t and then gv in title. So that's the variable we wanna set. What do we wanna set it to? Well, we wanna set it to a built-in tasker variable, uh, which is the notification. Notification title. Now, notification title uh, changes often in Android and on your tablet or phone, every time you get a notification, notification title changes. But remember, this is being triggered as soon as you get a Google Voice notification. So it will be the most recent thing. It'll be in, in the end title variable. And, but we're going to assign that to the one we created, TGV end title. And then we're going to show the scene. So select scene and then we're going to select uh, show scene hit the little magnifying glass to pick the scene that we created which is 101 GV notify we don't want to display it as an overlay we're going to display it as a uh, dialogue now position I want this notification you can make this be anywhere you want it to be Right now, since we only have one, I'm going to leave it uh, horizontally in the center, but vertically, I want it to be at the top of the screen. So I'm going to put it at the top. And then I'm going to leave the system animation. I'm going to leave show exit button checked. Um, if you recall from previous lessons about scenes, you always want to leave show exit button checked uh, while you're working on creating a project. Later, after you've tested the other ways you have to destroy a scene and you know they work, then you can uncheck that. But it's best in the beginning to always just leave it checked. It's a small little exit button. It doesn't hurt anything anyway. And then we'll leave continue task immediately checked. And uh, that will be that. All right, so uh, now that we've got it set up, go back. You see notification voice. You can see the, uh, uh, the task that it's triggering. Uh, now there's one other thing uh, I want to go ahead and add and that's an additional context so long press on the context that's there and then we're gonna choose uh, application and we're gonna choose voice Google voice and then I'm gonna select invert which means not voice so this will only happen if Google Voice is not open. Obviously, if you have the messaging, uh, your Google Voice messaging app opened, you don't need to be notified of a, te of a new message because you're in the app. So if that's open, it will not do anything. So uh, that's we've got it created. Now let's just see uh, if it works. Um, I have uh, uh, I'm going to send myself a message. I, while you guys weren't looking, I went in and enabled Tasker and accessibility settings. So that's done, and there you go. It works. Um, it's really, really big. So <laughs> it's great because we only have the one right now, but down the line in a 
later later uh, part of this lesson series we're going to uh, make it smaller because we're going to make way for a different uh, uh, different one as well. If I click open reply then it works it opens up the uh, app. So let's go back into Tasker because we still have something else to do even just uh, uh, having this as it is uh, if we want to turn this into an app. If that's all you wanted was just a big notification like that for Google Voice and, but you wanted to make it an app that you could give to your mom or your husband or wife or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, then you'd want to create it, turn it into an app. So uh, we're going to go to task and we're going to go uh, plus and I'm going to say one, one, A-P-P. So this is my app task. And so what is, uh, uh, what is this task going uh, to do? It's going to activate that profile that triggers this action. So I'm going to go to Tasker. I'm going to go to Profile Status. I can hit the little magnifying glass. And I'm going to choose... Why is it not there? It's probably not there because we haven't gotten out of it. Oh, I know why it's not there. And I do this all the time. So let's go back. Um, cancel. We got to give that profile a name. It doesn't have a name yet. And it has to have a name. So we have to long press it and then click the name button. And we have to give it a name. One, oh, one. And I'll say Goog Voice. Hello, Goog Voy. All right, so now it has a name. So now we go to Task. Now we go to Add. Now we go to One. We make it One O One App. And go to Tasker. Profile Status. Hit the magnifying glass. There it is, 101 Goog Voy. Set on. You could make it a toggle so that by opening the app, you basically are toggling the notifications on or off. Um, I just chose to set it to on. Uh, we're going to get more, much more advanced with this app as time goes on, and there will be setting a settings uh, uh, that you can open to turn it on or off. And then there we go. So we're all good. We have uh, all the functionality that we wanted to start. We're going to long press that tab. We're going to click export. Remember, you have to have uh, Tasker App Factory, which is a free uh, app if you have Tasker. So install Tasker App Factory, and we're going to choose as app. Oh, it doesn't have an icon. You can't have an app without an icon. So, uh, long press, select icon. I'm just going to use a built-in icon for this. Let's see, let's use um, something very obvious. I like uh, obvious icons for this scenario. Let's use sunglasses. That would be pretty obvious. So now we have our icon, long press. export as app and now you give it a package name your package name is going to be totally different from my package name if you hit the little uh, question mark kind of gives you an example of what you might use um, for this I'm going to use you almost always start out with calm a lot of people just turn their email address around so I'm going to say uh, tasker dot tutorials dot uh, g v uh, has to be all lowercase too g v plus 
because later we'll be adding other apps dot toots you can uh, have the version this is going to be version one and then we'll continue working on it and have other versions launch task so when someone installs this app when they press that button the the app button what task does it launch we want it to launch 101 app which all that really does is activate the profile to make sure it's running uh, minimum android version in order for uh, this app to work on someone else's device they have to enable accessibility for it because it's a notification related thing and that will only work on Jelly Bean. So you have to have at least 4.1 Jelly Bean. And that's going to be it. Then you hit the uh, little back button in the top left and it will export your app. All right, it's done, it's exported. Now we can uh, uh, install it by pressing the little Android icon right here. Package installer, just once. Install. And if you select open, you know it's gonna activate the app because that's all there is for it to do. You can click this check button to go away from there. Now one thing that we have to do is we have to go into settings. And you have to go down to accessibility. And uh, you'll see um, class is what this app is called right now because I failed to rename it when we were, uh, 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 when I was exporting it. So I'm going to press that and make sure it's turned on okay so it is turned on class on i'm going to turn the tasker accessibility off so tasker can't get any uh notifications i'm also going to go into tasker just to make sure you know it's off and turn off that profile um, but if i send myself a, a message because that app is installed, uh, it'll work and it, it'll trigger the app and we'll get a notification. So there you go. So you know your app works because you we got a notification. Tasker's disabled right now from accessing the notification. So this is coming from the app that we created. So I'm going to hit dismiss to dismiss it. And there you go. So that's, that's the end of uh, 32B which is a continuation of 32A. Um, I will show you real quick, uh, if you long press the icon, rename is where you would rename that button and rename it to what you want the app to be called. Uh, I'm just gonna leave mine class. It's a good indication of what it is, but you would rename it to a name that you wanted like GV pop-up or whatever uh, you wanted that app to be called. So that's the end of this lesson. Uh, come back for 32C. We're going to uh, get more and more and more advanced with this app until we have a fully functional uh, app that uh, really functions more like uh, an app you would download from the App Store. Anyway, that is it. Until next time, click that like button, check out my channel, subscribe to my channel, watch some of my Android app reviews, and uh, maybe most importantly, share this with anyone and everyone you know. And until next time, have fun with Tasker.